Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn an interesting problem on theorem of parallel axis where we are going to apply this problem and we are going to learn about the how to find the center of moment of inertia of a center of mass about an axis passing through its center and also an axis passing through a parallel to at a certain distance r from its center. In this question, we have to find the moment of inertia of a uniform linear rod of mass m and length l about an axis passing through the center of mass. So let's make a rod and we have to find the moment of inertia about the center of mass. Let's say that the length of the rod is l and we have to find this from x is equal to 0 to x x x axis and the half of the length of the rod can be taken as l by 2. So how can we solve this? So first we have to learn about the concept of moment of inertia about x and x x axis. So how to do that? So we can first take a dx element about the length x distance from the center of the mass and we can see this element as dm and this element has perfect breadth which is very minute we can assume this to be as dx so kind of we are going to use calculus here and those students who are willing to learn calculus and find the moment of inertia from the calculus are going to learn from here so we can take the i which is moment of inertia as di a small moment of inertia and we can integrate from 0 to l by 2 okay or we can also integrate from minus l to l if you are taking the entire length so integrating we have to consider a small element at x distance so we know that the i which is moment of inertia which is m r square can be modified for a very small element which is dm at a distance x square okay so for dm length and x square distance we have to integrate it from 0 to l by 2 but this integration is actually taking the half of the length of the entire rod so to find the length of the entire rod we have to double it it's 2 times multiplied by 0 to l by 2 which is dm x square okay i is equal to 2 times 0 to l by 2 which is the length of the rod dm x square now we know that for l length of the rod the entire length of the rod the mass that is the rod having is m so you have to find it for dm element so we know that for one unit by unitary method one unit length the mass we are going to have is m by l and for dx unit of length it would be m by l times of dx all right this dx element is actually for this dm mass so we can put this dm as 2 times of 0 to l by 2 m by l dx x square now you can actually see this m by l dx x square is nothing but the moment of inertia formula that we are getting in the form of very small element dx so whatever be the constant we are going to take it out of it so you can see that 2 times of m by l we take it out of the integration sign and 0 to l by 2 x dx x square dx now we already know that the integration of x square dx is nothing but x cube by 3 so we can write it down as 2m by l 0 to l by 2 to integrate it now we can put the limits here x cube by 3 and that's 0 to l by 2 finding it for the solution we can just put this l by 2 in place of x cube we can write that 2m by l l cube by 8 
multiply by 3. All right. So this will come out to be 2ml cubed by L times of 24, which can further be calibrated as m by 12 L square. Now remind this that this is the moment of inertia of the rod along the center of mass. So this axis we have taken or the rod of length L is along the center of mass of the axis. So I center of mass can be written as m by 12 L square. All right. We can also find through another axis which is parallel to this axis at a distance L by 2 from the center. For this what thing we are going to use it is called parallel axis theorem. So to learn about parallel axis theorem let us see. Parallel axis theorem relates the moment of inertia of a body about an axis parallel to the axis to the center of mass or moment of inertia about the center of mass itself. So it is written as the formula as I, I that is the moment of inertia about that axis which we are willing to find is equal to I center of mass plus MD square where D is the distance from the center of mass. Okay. From center of mass. So it is already written here. I is the moment of inertia about the new axis. I center of mass is the moment of inertia about the center of mass and M is the mass of the object and D is the distance from the center of mass of the new axis. So applying this if you want to find it we can write down this as I nu that is new axis is equal to I center of mass that is the ml square by 12 plus M d square which is this distance they are talking about d okay and this distance d is nothing but l by 2. So what we have is i center of mass as m by 12 l square plus m d is l by 2 which come out to be l square by 4. So when you add it you will get 4 m l square by 12 which is nothing but m l square by 3. So along this axis it is m l square by 3. So with the help of parallel axis theorem we can find the moment of inertia about the axis that is parallel to this axis. So this theorem really helps in solving such problems. We can see the application part here. So key points we want to remember is that the theorem applies when you are moving axis parallel to the center of mass. You have to remember that. It helps to calculate the moment of inertia of the complex shapes and objects where the axis of rotation is not through the center of mass. Means you can find the moment of inertia for 3D structure. It's often used for engineering and physics for rotating bodies and beam rods and wheels. So it is very important theorem and you will be seeing this application for various other up bodies like wheels, spheres and other planar objects and also the 3D objects. There is also one more part which we are going to study in the next video. Thank you for watching.